Hey guys, now even though this player doesn't need an introduction, I will introduce him anyway. My dear friend and neighbor Luciferge. You remember the guy who was still searching for the Arties? <laughs> Playing the Sitzman 103B, tier 9 and 10 on Sand River. This is one of my favorite maps of all time. But this is an encounter battle, so that's why, yeah, you see one base over there at uh, J... J4, J5. Now, the reason why this map is my one of my favorite, not my all-time favorite, because my all-time favorite is Prohorovka, an experienced user will tell you that. But this is also one of my favorite maps, due to the fact that it was the very same map in which I broke my record of damage dealing in my leaf blower where i did 4168 damage that was total murder man hello and this guy has just been an absolute map yeah he's, she's talking about giving uh, milk with lactose that's what she's saying <laughs> I have noticed that I am not the only one who uses female tankers. We all want female tanker. I mean, if you're a, especially if you're a guy. And if you're a guy, you want to have a female tanker more than if you are a woman. We love our female tankers, man. We love them. Their voices are just mwah, very nice. Or as we as we say in Greek, I may I said this joke before, but unfortunately only the Greeks are gonna understand it. Nipse 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 nipse. You know, grab stop me, grab set the lexi nice me in kus characters. Abi nipse nipse. Malaka Cleo. I've discovered this mistake. It's funny if you know Greek, but the thing is, I discovered this mistake when I change my my keyboard when I press Alt-Shift to change one language to the other and I've forgotten that it's on Greek and I want to write nice and it comes out Nipse and I was like, Nipse? What the fuck? Anyway, let's look at this super hull down siege mode beast with good frontal armor, trollish armor. How the hell did that go in? Yes, we all saw it. Ah, weird. This uh, Char Futur is going to get shot sooner or later. You should have taken that shot, buddy. That's the only location where you can get him. I don't think he's going to... of Glakas. Axe, he's an idiot. Get him all it. Yo, you don't saw. Wow, he's blocked 1170 damage so far. More than he has done. Look at this thing, man. This thing's a beast. The guy's still shooting from there. You're gonna get him at some point. Nah. 1560 blocked. Thank you, Switzvan. But the problem is, uh, Switzvan, I meant Char Futur. He's the Switzvan. The problem is, you don't get extra credits for bouncing. Although, Wargaming has placed specific missions in the game. And I'm not talking about the heavy tank missions. We're talking about missions which could be played in any vehicle from certain countries. So, you could do blocking missions with, with a Stritz van, for example. See? Oh! Coalition 15. Okay, let's pause it right there. Let's take a look. Complete the primary mission in three battles out of 20. Uh, which is... Receive the Mastery Badge Class 1 or higher. Improved results. Receive the Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. Uh, 3 out of 20, out of 20 missions. 20 games, basically. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, man, most of these missions, I I didn't even bother mastering them. I just did the basic and that was it. 
And in order to do these missions, I logged in late at night when everyone was offline, especially the little kitties. And uh, I managed to do some, yeah. Yeah, proxy spotted. Wow. Look at the gun depression on his leg. What is this guy doing? I'd say track. Does he even know you're here? Oh, he saw you. So I don't need this. I'm going to give you a, a parcel. Let, let go of the parcel. Let go of the parcel. <laughs> let go of the parcel. It's not yours. <laughs> or I'll give you, I will mow you with my, with my bare arms. He captured the molded. <laughs> like, what? Ugh, oh, bye bye Kunzi. And bye bye E50. Yeah, the guy just came in with his auto loader. He just boom, boom, boom. You two go back to your room. Now it's time to find that Back to the Future, number four. Excuse me, Char Futur. Char Futur, man. Some of, some of these tanks have like the dumbest names ever. Ever. You see a mullet. You see the mullet? You see it? No, wait, that's a coke. What? What did you say? <laughs> Woo! 1100 spotting assist and damage on the FB 4004. 4005. See, play, please take that parson. Shoot! Let's see. What's the shell velocity on this thing? 1450, nice. Ah, shoot HE, shoot HE. Let me translate. I just said shoot a after I said shoot HE. Don't spend one APCR round for I accidentally said 15, but it was actually 35 HP. Yeah, that I feel it. That was fun. Crema. Ooh. Let's see. 1,500. 1,450. Heal 8. 350. The premium APCR has less shell velocity than the, than the, than the classic APCR. He's right there. Take a shot. Shoot! He's there! He's there! Take a shot! Etsy Bravo! I think that hit. I believe that hit. Take another one? Yeah, he's right there. He's right there. Exact he's exactly there. Ligo Piopano? Okay, Ligo Piari set up. A little bit up, a little bit to the left. What happened? There you go. Shoot! Nice. Ella, Yanni, Pareto, take the parcel. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh boy. The only guy who's left is Centurion Action X. And he is X. Oh boy. I, I was thinking of a joke about that regarding X, but I'll leave that for another video. Let's uh, go and see how well he did. So he aces the tank. Shellproof spotter fire for effect bruiser. Cool headed steel wall and confederate. Wow. 71.4k credits, 3.7k XP, 7 bonds. Very good job, my friend. Wow, kudos to the Fosh B. 6,500 damage, 3 kills. Our friend, five, almost 5.6, 2 kills. And how are we doing on base XP? Number one in base XP. One, two, four, eight. The Fosh B did a very good job. I think he died. Oh, no, he survived. No, my bad. My bad. I thought he was grayed out. My bad. No, these guys are grayed out. Yeah, okay. Great. And how did you do on credit, first of all? Enemy team? Let's see. Good job, U100. Good job, Grille. And these guys over here, they tried. Very few people had, well, on the enemy team, got unlucky, like this guy, for example. Mr. Seronimo, not Geronimo. He is the cousin of Geronimo. So he's Seronimo. Ah, uh, whatever. And he lost credits. Uh, how much is that? 
28,000 credits. I wish this wasn't so dark. It's one of the negative as aspects of this website. And W8 5.6k. Great. Now let's go watch another video. Um, and now, ladies and gentlemen, we go down by six tiers. Well, at least for my friend, it's six tiers because he is bottom tier, playing the Stuart M5 Stuart tier four, and he's going up against fives and sixes on uh, wait. This is a standard battle, Westfield. I really like this thing that he has a... Uh, keeps calling help, 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 help. Help, who are you calling help for? Ah, oh, the leaf blower. Oh. My friend has a special fascination with the leaf blower. I have... Um, I don't know if I should say this. I don't think he will mind. He's a, he's a really nice guy. A really nice guy. And my neighbor. He lives right above me. Well, not literally like right above me. But right above me in the above area. So... Uh, I have promised him, you know, as a friend, that if the leaf blower ever gets sold again, which I don't think it will ever happen, but you never know, I will buy him one as a gift. Because he really wants one. This thing shoots one, two, three, four, five, and there's nothing you can do. And I believe that. Oh my God! Look at that. I believe that the Charmle was inspired by this tank. Once you pull the trigger, all the shots go. Where they go? <laughs> Low tier is fun, man. It is more balanced than the high tier shit. Wait. Wait, that's weird. Isn't it? Wait, how did you do that? Take on Stora. Isn't it the one that when you shoot, all the shots go? Or am I wrong? Or is it another steward? There is a steward that does that. Ah, maybe it's the M5A1 steward, the one who's right next to him. Yep, the one that's right next to him. I have to press Alt so that the names would come on the left. That's a good addition that Wargaming has done, but they could have done it automatically. But, okay, whatever. Score? 2-2. Two, two. His team has totally forgotten about the North. The Jag Pizda uh, version 4 is asking for help. No one gives a shit. The others are, they're, they're, they're waiting. Oh, I'm gonna snipe. If someone appears, I'm gonna snipe. And if he dies, no problem. Well, if he dies, you're not gonna have eyes, you <laughs> morons. <laughs> anyway. The good thing about low tier is that games last a little bit longer than the classic tier 7s and up, where the average game lasts like 2 to 3 minutes. And they're usually blowouts. Or ruffle stumps. You know, you guys know the difference between blowouts and ruffle stomps? A blowout and a ruffle stomp, they both finish quickly. With the only difference is that in a blowout, your team or the enemy team gets to get to do some kills, while the other team just finishes them off very quickly. That's a blowout. A ruffle stomp is usually 15-0. They just ruffle and you just stomp all over again. I am confused as to how many shots this thing takes. I'm confused. Hello, Mr. Lux. Wow. He did more assists than he did damage. Personally, I stopped playing this vehicle ever since I unlocked the next one. I haven't played it in a... I don't even remember how long. Wow. Uh, that was a little bit weird. I think he's over there. Yeah. Can I see? Afu have takes the tracks. We fake up the Messi. He's gonna shoot again. If you get shot blindly and you fix your tracks, 
get out of the get out of that spot. That person's most likely gonna shoot again. I'm just saying. Especially if he has someone on your team and he knows the locations, or if he just I'm being paranoid. Nah, I don't think that's the case. Let's see. Can he shoot this guy? No, he went stealth. He's going... Tijo, tijo, mi se petijo. <laughs> My Greek friends have died laughing by now. Bye-bye, <laughs> Panzer-4H. Oh, he's kivre. Oh, well. It's a little bit too high, but okay. Tijo, tijo, mi se petijo. Oh my god, man. We have these amazing expressions in the Greek language, and that was one of them. Tijo, tijo, mise petijo. I will try to translate it and explain it at the same time. The literal translation is from wall to wall, so I won't be able to get you. Meaning that stick your backside towards the wall so that I won't be able to have, uh, well, you know, special fun with you. Wow. That M41, he's forgotten that you're here. Nice. Oh. Got him. Wait, who shot you? The M44. Hmm. The M4A3, that new... Uh, not Panzer, Sherman. Well, Panzer, the name Panzer means a tank in German, as far as I'm concerned. That new Panzer M4A3, a.k.a. Sherman... Tank is up at 5 kills. M44 doesn't have any kills, but he's still dangerous. Doesn't matter. We didn't even scratch them. And Mrs. Mr. Smart Donkey is at 1 kill with a Stug 3B. Smart Donkey. Some people have a sense of humor. If that's his real username. Yeah. It shoots... I'm confused. Are you the one who's shooting, or does it shoot by itself? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to give this thing, but if I, I can't do that, because I'm recording all the videos before the update. I haven't updated my client, so I can't log into the game. Oh well. I still have two more videos to record after this one. And I know this video is going to be very long, but I want to get rid of them because I also want to play the update. You know, I want to see what 126 is about. I'm glad that they gave the chasse, the, not the chasse, canon d'assault. They gave it a 200 HP boost, which is not much. It's only 20%. I mean, I prefer if that thing would have been at 1,500. I mean, it's after all, it's a tier 8. It should have at least 1,500 HP. At least. Oh, there you go. <laughs> they killed each other. Nice. Cool. Let's see. Ace tanker. Fighter spotter. FFV bruiser. Yoshio Tamada's medal. I have never seen this medal ever in my life. What does it say? Destroy at least... Two enemy SPGs and a light tank in one battle survive the battle. Destroyed enemy vehicles must be one tier higher than the player's tank. Does it mean at least one tier higher? Because the M41 is one tier higher. The M44 is two tiers higher. I guess this is a mistake on the website. Can be obtained only in random battles. And Pescucci's. Yeah, okay. Great. And how did you do? Cut the guy. 119,000 credits. Prospazo, no me fero prosoki esto gigo no so te his grapsi to puine to artillery lathos, a la telos pandon. O cosa stachi pethani sta yelia fin stigme. I'm not going to translate that. I can't. Otherwise, Lucifer is going to kill me. <laughs> Just saying. 1388, top in damage, top in kills, top in base XP. 1059. Amazing. How many credits? Nice. Doing over 1,000 damage in tier 4. Nice. Very nice. And with this one, he made credits. Fantastic. Let's go watch a third replay. Because I want to get this over with. And I still have one more before I show you. Before I log into 126. 
last but not least for our friend Luciferge. And the reason why I put all these together, well, I've already mentioned it. I want to move on to upgrade, up, update my client. Let's see. Object 452K. Super expensive. Is this Russian? Yeah, it's Russian. Of course it's Russian. Let's look at this thing, man. Look at this thing. Wow. Berlin. Top tier. Nines and tens. Wargaming decided that they're already winning by 950 HP. That was the best they could do. Okay, great. I really like the planes, you know, coming in, throwing, you know, bombs, etc., etc. That plane clearly missed and threw the bombs right in the river. <laughs> but luckily there was no explosion. They were all duds. Not dudes, duds. Not dads, nor dudes. Speaking of dudes, because my friend, what's his name? Uh, German intelligence. He's German, but he's not German, not exactly German, but he is German, so you can call him German. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, my friend German intelligence, who's a really nice guy, I really like him. He keeps using the word dude. And he knows, because he's an Arab, that the word dude in Arabic means a worm. <laughs> Just saying. Hello. Oh man, look at this leopard. Here, I'll give you all my side. Here, here, take a shot. Take a shot. Do you like my side? <laughs> that was a leopard. <laughs> what a muppet. <laughs> Hello. Bouncy, bouncy. From the concept 1B. He shared some heat with you because he's uh, he is heatly in love with you. <laughs> Do you want my cheers, Leo? <laughs> oh, there is one more replay I'm going to show after this one, and then I'm going to update yeah update my client. And it's one of your guys' favorites. You guys. I don't think you guys enjoy these videos very, very, very much. Some of you do, but most of you, you prefer watching, you know, cheaters, game riggers, red ballers, assholes, etc., etc. Let's see, which Muppet is going to try and cross uh, in front of his gun? And he's going to receive... Hello? Ah, uh, no. No hello. What are you shooting? Heat. What's the pen? 320 pen, 560 five, alpha. 260 pen, 560 alpha. On the regular, armor piercing. And 65 pen, 700 alpha on the high explosive. There you go. And the shell velocity is, well. Hello. What the hell? When did the Jagzilla come here? That's very bold. And very stupid at the same time. He just threw his tank away. Nice bounce there. But then again, this is a Russian tank. I mean, you know. And when you're receiving a hit from an American tank, of course you're going to bounce. Well, at least 75% of the time. Unless you're a total Muppet. Many Russian tanks on his team. Many. Oh, you ponyo! Hello, Monsieur Concept. Give him some brotherly love there. And he receives none in return. That's the fun part. Uh, he's gonna get shot by this guy. I7 doesn't care. Oh! Amorak! What the f- are you kidding? What? Now he has to wait almost 65 seconds to repair that damaged Amorak. Again. Twice in less than one minute. Wow, that's frustrating. Imagine if he hadn't repaired it. He would have given Amorak. This would have been a totally different replay. It wouldn't have been a replay. It would have just gone to the next battle. Oh, me, G. 
Oh my god. Now your reload is double. Because you're Amorakt. Because, you know, the loader, he's, uh, he doesn't want to touch the shells. He's been extra careful, so it takes him twice the time to pick a shell, which is not almost on fire, and and slam it into the, the turret. Uh, excuse me, into the gun. If you've ever been inside a tank, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't, well, ask in the comment section. Someone will tell you. Okay, I believe you can make this shot. There you go. There you go. Fix his armor. Come on! Who's to? Hey, war gaming is a yadi ke kamisho. Sigami betichis. War gaming says, "Screw you! You're not gonna, you're not gonna hit him." That's basically what I said in Greek. Ella limia. Let's see. Five ninety-seven. Nice roll there. But, alas, they are losing by 2,500 HP and two tanks. Which mission are you doing? HT-12 Sturdy Armor. Ah, result improvement. Armor efficiency, 8,100. Damage, 3,000. Survive and win the battle. Hmm. Let's see. Is he going to do it? The problem is... Have total damage blocked by armor equal to or exceeding three times the hit points of your vehicle. That's 8,100. Damage, I believe, I mean, he's, he only has to do is 582 more damage, and that's it. He's done it. He's going to do it. He's going to get one more shot, at least, or two. But blocking that much damage, especially in this meta when everyone shoots heat and premium shells, well, premium shells in general, you get the idea. Man, people shoot premium at tier 1. Yeah. Well, kudos to this player that just... Well, he just proved me wrong, because he's shooting regular APCR. Okay, so he finished the damage. Now he has to block 6,100. And I apologize, let me... Because we, we lost that shot. Let me make this a little bit faster. Okay, there you go. There you go. 608 on the TS-60. My geek friends have died laughing by now. They have died laughing. What the hell was that? The shot just got absorbed in, you know, it went into the ether. There you go. Close to. Let's see. Tracked. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. He's he's protecting his weak spot. Very good. He just caught a shell by doing that. You see what he did there? He raised his gun in order to protect his weak spot. You know, the commander's cupola or whatever. This tank has a low profile. It has quite a good penetrate. What's the reload on this thing? Poso reload dechis. Yeah, grab some mascato. I just asked him in Greek. It's a cool looking tank. If uh, this comes out regularly, I will get it. But all this uh, bond shop, this assembly shop, I hate that. I hate it. I just totally despise it. Why? Because it's it's a mockery of, uh, of the player base. That's what I believe. If they would lower the price of, price of these things and put an unlimited number that you can buy them whenever you want. However... The first, let's say, 20,000 people will have a special number. And everyone else, you're not going to have a number. But Wargaming, no! They want to use the FOMO effect. For those who don't know what FOMO stands for, it means fear on missing out. It's a psychological effect that most companies use around the world in order to make customers buy things. Look it up, if you don't believe me. Okay, so 3,560 block, 5,216 damage visible. This guy is uh, trying to bait a shot, I guess. TS-60 can come from behind you. You never know. Take a look. That TS-60 could be anywhere. 
The Gonkia Visca is keeping an eye out on the FV215B183. The Leopard Prototype A and the other guy, I can't see his name, are... One is inside the building, the other is outside the building, I guess? At G5, G6? I just, uh, well, jinxed that Leopard. Ah, an EBR. There you go. Okay, this is starting to look grim for this team. 710, down by 4,500 HP. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to win this. Nice. This guy's been an absolute Muppet. Muppet. And he he clutched the shot and he missed. You lost a very nice chance to get rid of him. Okay, now he knows that you've turned around. Um, I guess he knows. Ah, there's the TS-60. Spotted by the Gonki Visca. And he's about to say... Sir... Check, it, check the window. Check out the, check the window. The window. Okay, I guess you can get him from here. Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can Shoot. Shoot. There you go. Nice. Yeah, but careful. You have one heat shell left. And that concept won't be... You don't know where he's going to come from. It's nice that they've closed the gap. My god, man. That plane is so loud. Louder than my neighbors. What? Where is this guy going? Who pass a kara Yeah, pony ponyo. Got off. Let's take a nice cake in your face. Like cartoons, you know, Tom and Jerry. Got off. Uh, I believe you could go around. No one's going to spot you because the Object 704 is blind from the right. From his right. Which is also your right as you're looking at it. Which is kind of weird. Nazat! Uh, FV215B is going after the Gonki Visca. Our friend is going after the Turtles Tank Destroyer. 704. Riks to Mias Serpices in the tracks. Tracks, tracks, tracks. Oh! Ah! Oh, come on! Woo! Oh, shit! How did he turn around? Sproxton! Sproxton! Push him! Oh man, I thought he was going to push him. That would have been epic. And the Gongi Whiskey just took out the FV. <laughs> nice. Okay, now it's starting to look good. So, what's left? A Kampfpanzer on one kill and the Object 432. Who, well, is on no kills. But, I believe they are at full HP, but we don't know if that's true. Come on, a few more. Ah! Wait until... Now, wait until they're spotted and we will see the update on the HP. Well, same applies, of course, to his teammates. And you see? You see what I'm talking about? You see what happened there on the minimap? As soon as he entered within their render range, which is also his render range... It's not too complicated to understand that. If I'm in your render range, you are also in mine. As soon as he... They entered in his render range, they got... We got the update of the HP, and his teammates are not doing so good. You see them on the minimap, and you're like, "Yeah, okay, what the hell are they doing? Aren't they shooting each other? I don't know. I believe Wargaming should fix that. They should. You should have the update no matter what. But then it would negate the one of the aspects of the radio, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Oh boy. Go and have a pudding. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Very nice last shot there. Amazing. Let's take a look. Yeah, raise the gun, my friend. Did you raise the gun? Well, kind of. Kind of raise the gun. Kind of raise the gun. Let's see. 
7146. While in the game, we should see how much damage. Remember, 7146. Ace, FFE, Shell Proof, Duelist, Bruiser, Steel Wall, High Caliber, and Top Gun. 133,000, 6442, 7 bonds. 7146? 7146. Yep, same damage. First in literally everything. Good job, Concept 1B and Gongi Visca and the Grille, of course. All the surviving ones, they did a very good job. Let's see, enemies, how did you do? Hmm. Everyone did something. This guy got unlucky, but... Well, not unlucky. I mean, he went forward. Oh, I'm a jug Jugzilla. And uh, you can't pen me. Uh, maybe frontally. Maybe. But he just threw away his tank in the beginning of the match. Anyway, and... Hmm. Well, if you hadn't been running personal reserves, you would have lost a shit ton of credits. Anyway, that was it for today. Sorry this video was a little bit long. I have to get... I had to get rid of the 125. There's one more. And it's not gonna be a classic... It's, it is gonna be inside the battle, but... I will let you guys keep guessing. I will upload it later on. I will, well, I will shoot it first, because, <sighs> anyway, you'll see, you'll see. So, please support the channel, watch more videos, subscribe, turn on notifications. You guys are awesome. Members, what are you? What are you? The best. Catch you later. Bye-bye.